Fake news is a term that is thrown around a lot lately, and trust in the media has reached an all-time low. Though it would be unwise to expect no bias in the media, in fact some of the greatest media scoops have been released with an agenda. For example, Seymour Hersh's report on the My Lai Massacre in Vietnam of 1968, or Pinksville. There is, however, a point where too much bias in the media becomes untrustworthy. Once and for all, getting to the bottom of this, using perhaps two of the largest and most divisive mainstream media outlets today. Both Fox News and CNN have been accused of presenting lies. The best way to get the bottom of this is to ask yourself, who is to gain? Follow the money. Prove if either Fox or CNN has an invested financial interest in either political party, Democrats or Republicans. Then, back this up with analysis of samples from both media outlets. Finally, examples of fake news by both CNN and Fox News, showing that both of them have been responsible of presenting false information. A little bias can be good, as long as it is declared. Though swinging too far towards either side of the political spectrum ultimately results in a form of tyrannical government. This is called the horseshoe effect, where both extremes of government have the same result for the public inhabiting it. Follow the money. Jeffrey Bukes is the CEO of Time Warner, with Rupert Murdoch CEO and founder of News Corporation, two of some of the world's largest and most influential media outlets today. Turner Media is the broadcasting company owned by Time Warner which is responsible for CNN amongst other popular networks such as HBO, Cartoon Network and Adult Swim, whilst 21st Century Fox is owned by News Corporation, which contains Fox News, National Geographic, Fox Sports and more. This is important to note when now looking at political action committees. Political action committees are in short ways for organisations to influence elections. For example, in the year of 2015 and 2016, Time Warner spent $2.943 million on lobbying and $2.373 million in contributions to support candidates or parties, while News Corporation spent $5.7 million in lobbying and $2.1 million in contributions to parties and candidates over the same period. Lobbying differs from contributions in that they support a specific bill or act in support of that company's position, not a party or candidate. For example, News Corporation top lobbying bills were S-177, the Data Security and Breach Notification Act of 2015, and HR-1385, Preserving America Privacy Act of 2015, amongst others. Whilst Time Warner top lobbying supported S-177 also, amongst other bills such as HR1770, Data Security and Breach Notification Act of 2015. Bills supported by these companies are closely linked to interests of the organisation, as can be seen as they share some major lobbying bills. It does however get much more interesting when looking at contribution by these companies' political action committees. For example, Time Warner Political Action Committee and individual employees and affiliates donated over 400,000 to support candidates in the House of Representatives. 67% of that went straight to Democratic candidates and 33% to Republicans. While spending over $200,000 on the US Senate, 71% to Democrats and 29% to Republicans. And if we look at the employees of CNN alone, over $11,000 was contributed in the same cycle, none to Republicans, 100% went directly to Democrats, showing a clear financial interest of support in Democratic candidates. Comparing this to News Corporation, donating a total of over $280,000 to the House of Representatives, 39% went to Democrats and 61% to Republicans. Whilst over $160,000 went to the US Senate, an even split of 50% to Democrats and Republicans. While employees of Fox News were much more active politically 
donating over 90,000 compared to CNN's 11,000. They had an even split of financial interest, 50% going directly to Democrats and 50% to Republicans. Including now all contributions by News Corporation and Time Warner, including the political action committees and individuals inside the companies and affiliates, we can see that Time Warner contributed just over 2 million to the Democratic campaign and approximately 250,000 to the Republican campaign. Over eight times the amount went directly to the Democratic campaign as the Republican campaign, a clear financial interest towards Democrats. While News Corporation donated over 1.1 million to the Democratic campaign and only 700,000 to the Republican campaign, which is 1.6 times more to Democrats, which is contrary to what most people would assume, which means cannot prove a financial interest from Fox News towards Republicans. It is important to note both Time Warner and News Corporation trade publicly. Looking at the six major shareholders of the two organizations, they both share three common shareholders in this list. The Vanguard Group, BlackRock Fund Advisors, and State Street Corp. There is only a slight lean of 52% to 37%, a favoring of 15% in donations towards Democrats by the six major shareholders of Time Warner. And an even smaller lean of 39% to 46%, a favoring of 7% of donations towards Republicans for News Corporation. To compare this to the respective all-time donations of both companies, we see that Time Warner has donated a total of 21 million to the Democratic campaign, while 6.5 million has gone to the Republic campaign in its entire lifetime. And News Corporation has donated over 9 million to the Democrats and 6 million to the Republican Party showing both parties have actually leaned traditionally towards Democrats. Though, News Corporation seems to have more fluidity in how it manoeuvres and sometimes does donate more towards Republicans. So I could not say financially that News Corporation have a definitive financial interest in Republican Party. In fact, financially, it would appear that News Corporation traditionally leans towards Democrats. This is very interesting to see because most people would assume that Fox News has a traditional Republican lean, while CNN has a traditional Democratic lean. So financially, this is quite contrary